dear students today's topic is biological network identification how you will identify a biological network what is the use of a biological network how a biological network can help you what is the need so these are the questions will be answered if you will understand the identification process of a biological network so what does a biological network comprises it comprises genes protein functions behavior mechanism pathways so many things including all those things a network could be designed suppose it is a glycolysis process so from where it is a start and what where it is end what is the product you obtained how that product will be utilized how the reverse cycle can be processed so these are the questions you will be understand or you will answer very nicely if you understand the identification process of biological network a biological network is any network that applies to biological system network is just a connections so how you can apply connections on a biological network that you have to understand a network is any system with sub units that are linked into a whole so suppose this is a whole universe in that universe you have earth in that earth you have continents and that continents have some countries countries have states states have districts districts have headquarters headquarters will be so this is the chain you one by one you have divided classified it and you reach to a position so like that in a network you start from one place you will reach from one place by classifying or rectifying or annotating these methods you will identify something so complex biological network or systems may be represent and analyzed as computational as computable networks for example a protein can be modeled as network of amino acid breaking a protein down further amino acid can be represented as a network of connected atoms such as carbon nitrogen and oxygen as i give you the example of universe same like if it is a protein you break it down into amino acid once you will again start breaking you will get some carbon some nitrogen some hydrogen some r groups some different kind of function again you will further break it down so you can start it from a complex protein to a atomic atomic level or atoms level okay or coordinate levels so like that you can perform so how you will identify there are certain methods so nodes and edges are the basic components if you will draw any network if you are reading graph theory or operation research or data algorithm or data structure you will see a network in a computational biology which is represented by nodes or edges so nodes represents a unit in the network while edges represents the interconnection between them means the lines if i'll give you the example as i told so this is the h and this is the node okay the two important properties of a network are degree and bit pinness degree is the number of edges that connects a node while bit pinness is a measure of how central a node in a network the meaning of saying that suppose this is a this is a node how many edges are coming to connect with it this is the one thing other thing is how long suppose one is connecting in this way and the another one is connecting in this way okay so here is a sorry so here is a one connection and here is a one connection so this distance is talking about betweenness this one is also betweenness and this one is talking about the degree how many so if we will talk about this the degree is 1 2 3 4 5 6 6 units you know, are connected it may be connected more or maybe less so two more thing one two most important thing one is a degree and second one is a betweenness how bioinformatics can help these methods so bioinformatics has increasingly shifted into focus from individual gene protein and search algorithm to large scale networks the reason is 
now omics studies are increasing like proteomics genomics transcriptomics metabolomics so there are so many types of omics studies has increased so if omics studies has increased then the data is also increasing so when the data is increasing so studying one by one one by one it will consume most of the time so in spite of wasting lots of time or investing lots of time we can study all this together in the format of networks so that's why bioinformatics is focusing on the network biology studies so in the next lecture we will talk about the methods available for the biological network identification thank you